Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the new Lacme Absolute Lip Shimmers and uh, these retail for now 700 bucks and I think you can find them for a little cheaper on Flipkart I think they retail for about 500 and something they're still very expensive but I was really curious to see what the hype was all about and they're beautiful uh, the shade the finish reminds me of some of the Bobbi Brown lip glosses that you get the really high shining you know sparkly glittery lip glosses that they have uh, so I'm just I've already swatched some of the shades that I bought on my arm and I'm gonna show you those so the first shade that I have is shade B005 called Pink Flash and that's this shade here it's uh, it's like a really bright and beautiful pink I don't know if you can see it clearly but this is the one here uh, oh, yeah, it is a it's like an orangey pink it's really beautiful uh, one thing you gotta remember is that when you're turning these lipsticks back in don't just stop there okay you've got to hear this click there's like a slight click and then you know it's gone all the way and I made a mistake of keeping one of these halfway and jabbing it into the lip so just make sure you click the lipstick into place and then put the cap on okay and the second shade that we have is B006 and it's called Rose Gold Dust I actually wore this today uh, it's a beautiful shade it's uh, this it looks orangey gold you know it's got it's got uh, hints of gold in it like gold specks gold sparkles whatever you want to call it and it's really gorgeous for I think for summer you know really light and kind of fresh so it's beautiful and I wore this today during the day I have now changed to another color uh, the third the third uh, what I meant by that is that I switched to a darker color for the evening the next color I have is B015 uh, it's called Wine Gleam and that's this shade right here it's really beautiful as well I would yeah this is the one the third shade this is uh, it's more on the pink side of things uh, it's <laughs> it's um, I think it's beautiful for bridal and if you're doing an evening event it's a beautiful color to have uh, the next one I have is Copper Spark it's B017 and uh, that's this shade here I'm actually wearing that right now but it's like I have a mix of at least three different lipstick shades I love mixing lip colors to get a color that I want so I I kind of put this on top of the rose gold spark that I showed you earlier um, so yeah this is this shade right here I know I keep looking at the sides because I'm trying to make sure that uh, everything's in focus on the camera screen so that's the shade this is really beautiful shade I think it will work for a lot of different skin tones it's kind of got uh, let's say coppery sparkles in it all of these have sparkles okay they're not they're, they're very opaque they're very pigmented I just swipe them once and that's the payoff uh, they last really long and in fact they kind of stain also so it's great if you know you're going to be at an event for a few hours you know it's going to last a while the next one is sunkissed salmon it's shade number bo20 and that's this one right here and uh, I <laughs> yeah that's this one right here really beautiful also all of them are beautiful I don't think anyone's you know not gonna like the colors the only thing I think some women might have a problem with is that they're really shiny this is like uh, it's kind of retro uh, a lot of the 80s could be wrong but a lot of the 80s mid 90s had that you know sh that sheen uh, deep plums and browns and mauves and this line seems to kind of uh, follow that and uh, it's really great I think it's nice to have lipsticks of different textures I think this uh, the last few years maths were a rave and you know gloss was a rave back in the day 
back in the day as it, it had its phase that's what I meant um, and it's good it's good to have different textures so that you can always play up your look when you want to um, I know I'm gonna be using these they're really beautiful yes, especially for events you know if you know, if you know they're gonna be photographed and you know that uh, you know, if you're leaving the eyes really matte then this is a great way to add to play up your look adding a bit of sparkle so um, oh yeah a little more actually on the packaging and stuff I actually like the packaging I think it's extremely sturdy it's really chic in my opinion you know look at that it's just uh, translucent grayish black casing and uh, it's got white print of the brand on it uh, Lakme has some great products I personally wish you know I know it's not as expensive as a lot of other brands like Mac and stuff and you have uh, uh, other like lo brands like Lotus that have similar lipsticks but uh, in the sense that they have sparkly lipsticks uh, you should check out some of the Lotus lipsticks they're really good I actually use them quite often very very hydrating I think for the price at which they are sold I think they have great value for money um, yeah besides that I feel that I wish I wish uh, Lakme was a bit better priced I know that they are trying to cater to I, I don't know, some people say a budget friendly market, I mean, this is not budget friendly, you know, I would love for anybody and everybody to uh, be able to afford uh, good quality makeup and I think if they stuck around maybe a 300 mark or something it would have been great, so like me if you're listening, I would love to see your drop your prices a little bit, you know, um, apart from that, uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else to say. I'm just trying to think of any points that I might have missed out on. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't know. I just I can't remember what I wanted to say. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and I think try one first because not everyone might. You, know, you might think you love it. It looks beautiful. It even looks beautiful when you swatch them. But sometimes you wear them, it's like, oh, okay, it's like too bright and too shiny. So uh, buy one or go test one out. You have testers here. Another thing, please don't test, you know, don't take the test and apply it on your mouth directly. It's one of the most unhygienic things you can do. Always swatch on your hands, okay, ladies. I've seen some women who just take testers and go all over their mouth and that's why you're asking for trouble. So just make sure you swatch it on the side of your arm and that's the best way to test makeup, most makeup. Um, yeah, that's about it and I hope you guys... Uh, like my channel, subscribe, recommend, share, whatever, you know, the usual thing. Um, yeah, and if you have any suggestions and comments, please comment below. Um, this is, I'm kind of struggling actually with this camera. It's been a headache. I've been trying to, it's a beautiful camera. I love this camera. I want to say what camera it is right now, but I'm still in the process of figuring out things. Lighting has been a bit of a problem lights are failing lots of things are happening so also the autofocus on this camera bounces a lot and uh, i don't know if you can hear it but the the motor of uh, the motor the you can hear the sound of the autofocusing motor being recorded and that's really annoying so i'm trying to fix that as well but give me some time be patient i'm trying to be really patient it's not as easy as it looks so uh, all the support is appreciated and have a great evening see you guys